But, but you know, Justice Lokur, you might recall last year, for example, Disha Ravi, an environmental activist, yes. was picked up from Bangalore by the Delhi police, arrested for sedition. Uh, a, a, a young woman in her 20s, again, for allegedly being part of some Twitter campaign. I mean, the question is, the police officers got away, and those decisions could not have been taken by some lower level police officer. Often they are taken at a higher level, and possibly on the instructions of their political masters, cutting across state. So, who is, where, where does accountability end or where does it begin in cases of wrongful arrest? The court will have to find out where the buck stops, mm -hmm. right? Now, the, you know, the, the investigating officer who produces uh, the accused person, so to speak, and says that, listen, I want to arrest him. And the court says, sorry, I'm not going to let you arrest him. And I think you've done it, you know, without any good reason. And I'm going to hold you accountable, right? That person will get the courage, assuming he's been told by his higher ups that, listen, you arrest, all right? That person will get the message across mm -hmm. that, listen, I'm not going to listen to what you say mm -hmm. because I'm the one who's going to have to pay the fine. I'm the one who's going to have to face the court. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who's going to be accountable. So unless that message goes, mm -hmm. you know, this will continue. No, because the worry is that that message needs to go not just to the inspector in the police station in, let's say, a Lakhimpur Kheri, where uh, Zubair was produced, or a Hathras, or indeed in Gujarat at the moment, or Maharashtra, where we've seen uh, the Ketki Chitale case, when the MBA was in power, the message needs to go, just as local, to the political masters, whether it's the Maharashtra government, or indeed the, the center, or the Gujarat yeah. government. Yeah, how, wherever how it has to go. Who's going to, who, you know, who's going to, because my worry is that tomorrow there'll be another case very similar and nothing will change. The fact that I have uh, uh, with me, uh, uh, Justice Lokur, is 1840 people, 1840 people in 2020 were arrested for social media posts or statements they made. That's a huge amount. Yeah, you're right. And if 1840 people, police officers are told, that what are you doing and you know we are going to find you we are going to hold you accountable you will not get 1841 mm -hmm. that one person will not come the buck has to stop somewhere mm -hmm. right whether it stops at the political masters or whether it stops at some higher up uh, level wherever it stops it that has to stop and the court has to find out where it should stop can the chief justice send this message to every court in the country every lower court can they get this message loud and clear that they have the power to, in a way, ensure that wrongful arrests are not made, malified arrests are not made? No, that's the law. I mean, the Chief Justice doesn't have to tell anybody. The judge has to apply his mind and say, have you made out a ground for arrest? If you've not, sorry. Mm -hmm. Arnesh Kumar says that. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself the question, do I need to arrest this person? If you, if you ask yourself this question, you will obviously come to the answer that it, maybe in a given case, it's not necessary to arrest this person. Then in that case, why have you arrested him? You know, there is one question that also is being debated, selectivity and consistency. We've seen, and today there are those who are putting out, because society has become so polarized, that in the Nupur Sharma case, why did the Supreme Court initially not give her relief, instead said she has to go across the country and face all the FIRs, held her responsible in a way for spreading violence. And in the Zubair case, they've come out uh, in his favor. In the Arnab Goswami case, the vacation bench, met the very next morning to ensure Arnab's uh, freedom and liberty, rightfully so, I would say. But there are others who have languished for months in jail, under trials, faceless, languished for, for years. So how does the court ensure uh, consistency, uh, uh, Justice Lokur? I think that's for the judges uh, to decide. You know, one of the main attributes of the rule of law is predictability. Mm -hmm you know what the law is, right? Mm -hmm. So the judges know what the law is. And they should not apply it selectively. You know, they, it used to be said, show me the face and I'll show you the law, mm -hmm. okay, with regard to lawyers. That should not happen. You know, I mean, everybody has to be treated equally. There's no doubt about it. Can so we, you can't say that, you know, this person will be favored, that person will not be favored, this person's case will be taken up tomorrow, that person's case will be taken up day after. It shouldn't be like that.